deltoid. Ang maganda sa deltoid muscles, yung origin nila, may clue ka dun sa pangalan ng no? muscle. Okay? For example, the spinal deltoid, ang kanyang origin is the spine of the scapula. Okay? Spine of the scapula, then it will insert to the deltoid ridge of the humerus. Okay? Spine of scapula to deltoid ridge of humerus. And dun yung uh, OIA, origin insertion niya sa name. Diba? Spine of deltoid. Next, we have the acromiodeltoid. Oh, what's the, sa tingin nyo, anong, pangal, anong origin ng acromiodeltoid? Acromion process. Then, it will insert to the ito. Aside from the deltoid ridge, meron pa siyang dalawang additional insertion. Yung katabi niyang dalawang muscle, may insertion din siya doon. So, this is, by the way, this is the brachialis, diba? and this is the spinal deltoid. That's why, ang kanyang insertion is brachialis, spinal deltoid, and deltoid ridge. Okay, tatlo. So, tapos, origin niya, acromion process. Acromion process, then, it will insert to the spinal deltoid, brachialis, and the deltoid ridge. Lastly, we have the clavo deltoid. In clavo deltoid, ang kanyang origin, supposedly, sa ibang cut, kita-kita yun, meron ditong fascia. Fascia at the level of the clavicle. Ayun yung kanyang origin. Okay? Kita ba? Dito. Hindi lang ganun ka-prominent, pero makikita niya magkaiba ng uh, striations. Yung striations pa ganun, tapos eto pa ganun striations. Yo, so yung point na kung saan nag-iba yung striation, andoon yung fascia. Okay? So origin of the clavobrachialis or clavodeltoid is the fascia at the level of the clavicle. Then it will insert to the ulna. Okay, dun siya sa ulna. Let's look at their actions. Spinodeltoid and acromodeltoid have the same action. Okay? Spino and acromodeltoid have the same action, which is to retract and abduct the humerus. So, paano yun? Okay? Ang abduct is away. So, ganun. Okay? When I contract siya, retract and abduct the humerus. While ang Clavodeltoid or clavobrachialis flexes the forearm. Okay? Flex. Okay. Next, supraspinatus. Okay? Ito madali lang rin to kasi yung pangalan nila, they give you a clue of their origin. So this is the supraspinatus, this is the infraspinatus. Okay? Supraspinatus sa taas, infraspinatus. So, ba? Sa likod, yung subscapularis. Okay? So, ang origin ng supraspinatus is the supraspinus fossa. Ang origin ng infraspinatus is the infraspinus fossa. Then, pareha silang mag insert sa greater tuberosity. Do you still remember ba greater tuberosity? Ito namang nasa likod, origin niya, Subscapular fossa. Then, ang kanyang insertion is the lesser tuberosity. Kung itong mga nandito, greater tuberosity, nasa likod, sa lesser tuberosity siya mag-insert. Okay? Ito namang katabi ng infraspinatus dito. Ito, nakikita niya ba? Yan. Ito, this is the teres major. Teres major. So, may muscle dyan. Kita yata. Yan. Diba? Yan yung boundary. Okay. So, this is the teres major. Okay. May teres minor. Kaso, hindi siya kita masyado. Dahil masyado siyang maliit. Kasi kung titignan natin, imagine ninyo ha, ang origin insertion ng teres minor is the glenoid border of the scapula. Then insertion niya is the greater tuberosity of the humerus. 
Hindi eh, ba magkakabit na nga halos yung glenoid fossa at saka yung uh, great yung sa humerus. So ganun lang siya kaliit and we don't need to find it anymore. Okay? Basta alam nyo ang OIA ng Teres Major, ay minor, which is the glenoid border of the scapula to the greater tuberosum of humerus. In terms of action naman, madali lang kasi parehas siya ng action ng infraspinatus. So parang synergistic yung Teres Minor sa infraspinatus, which is to rotate the humerus outward. Paano yun? So, ito yung humerus. Ito yung humerus outward. So, action of the supraspinatus. The action of the supraspinatus is to extend the humerus. Okay? Extend. Pag gumaganon kayo, extension of the humerus. So, ang responsible doon is the supraspinatus. Infraspinatus naman, rotate the humerus outward. Okay? Rotation of the humerus. Next, the subscapularis. The subscapularis, dalawa yung action niya, rotates and retracts the humerus. Paano yun? Right, sorry. Rotates and retracts the humerus. So, patapos na tayo. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. There is major yun, yung rotates and retracts. Ang subscapularis is pulls the humerus medially. So, pag nakaganon kayo, pulls the humerus medially. Subscapularis. Okay. Yung correction, tapos yung teres major, ayun yung rotates and retracts the humerus. Okay. Ito. Ito yung nandito. Kung makikita mo, yan. Continuation. Continuation. Meron yung border dito. Okay. This is the teres major. This is the infra spinatus. Okay, last two. Serratus ventralis. So, serratus ventralis, ito siya sa underneath the chest muscle. So, ang kanyang characteristic, it's fan shape. Fan shape siya. Oh! Nakikit na imagine nyo ba yung fan shape niya? Parang pahing pahing dito. Okay. So, its origin is the last 9 or 10 ribs. So, naka-insert siya sa ribs. Tapos, tinan nyo, saan siya naka-origin? Saan siya naka-insert? Doon din sa scapula. So, scapula near the vertebral border. Scapula near the vertebral border. Tapos, isa pang inunote nyo, hindi nakasulat, nakasulat ko na, is... Yung pinaka-anterior na serratus ventralis, iba yung kanyang origin. Okay? Yung pinaka-anterior niya na serratus ventralis, iba yung origin. Ang origin nun is the transverse process of the last five cervical vertebra instead of the ribs. So, ang tawag sa kanya is levator scapulae. Okay? Levator scapulae. And from the name itself, parehas siya ng action ng levator scapulae ventralis, which is draws the scapula cranial. Okay. Levator scapulae, levator scapulae ventralis, parehas ang action, draws scapula cranial. So, ayun. Ayun siya. The anterior most, serratus ventralis. Ayun. Basta pinapoint yung pinaka-anterior na serratus ventralis. Ayun yung levator scapulae. Okay? Again, ang origin ng uh, serratus ventralis is the last 9 or 10 ribs inserted to the vertic scapula near vertebral border. While the, serat, the levator scapulae, origin niya is the transverse process of the last 5 cervical, rib, uh, cervical vertebra. Pero same siya ng insertion. Which is... Uh, vertebral scapula near vertebral border. Pare, magkaiba sila ng action. Ang action ng levator scapulae is draw scapula craniad while itong mga serratus ventralis draw scapula ventral. May parang ganun. Ventral lang. Pero siya, dahil siya nandun sa pinakataas, 
ng action niya, crane niya. Diba? So, nakikita nyo, based on the positioning of the muscles, talagang related dun yung kanilang action. Okay, and Okay na. So, that ends the demonstration. So, ganyan dapat itsura ng cut nyo at the end of the dissection. Very visible yung mga parts. Bakit? Para pag kunyari, ginamit yung cut nyo sa exam, Diba? Andali, pag tinoyin to, kitang-kita nyo kagad, this is the infra, ay, supraspinatus. Pag ito, kitang-kita nyo kagad, this is the serratus ventralis. Diba? Pero, pag ganyan, oh, binibigay, ibigay nyo yung cut, pag step exam, ganyan yung itsura. Pipinan ko rin yan, pero, kayo yung mahihirapan. Diba? Kasi, ito, katulad nito, pwede ko to ipin na from your trapezius. Pero, mas madali, di ba, kung ginanito nyo. That's why you really have to dissect your cut properly rin. Kasi for your own good din yan during that depth exam. Okay? Any questions? Because we were using everything. Like last. Like point out lang lahat. Sige. Di ba point out ko, kayo yung magpangalan na. Joke yun. Okay? Ano mo na? Sir, ineffective yun. Bakit? Okay, let's... Let's start. Okay, what's this? See? Let's see. 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 Let's Stratus Ventralis, pero mamaya pa pala yan. Nasa Hypixion muna tayo. Or sa Joke lang. Ano pa ba yung Hypixion? Stratus Ventralis. Stratus Ventralis. Stratus Ventralis. Oh. Diba? Kompleto na Hypixion, no? Third Constance. Third Constance. Pag ginalis taba. Yan. Between the two ribs. Sternal and third Constance. Okay? Next. So, cut nyo muna. Now we go to the shoulder. Okay, ready? What's this? Latissimus dorsi. This one? Spinal trapezius. Acromial trapezius. Clavo trapezius. Vator scapulae ventral. anterior dito yung levator scapulae. May binabanggit din sa atlas, by the way, just in case. Ito yung transversus costarum. Hindi naman siya finocos ni Hyman. Okay, pero ito siya. Ito lang kasi yung limit ng ano eh, rectus abdominis. Meron pang muscle dito. This is a transversus costarum. Just in case. Lateral siya. I'm more medial siya sa scalene. May OIA din, sir. May nilagay ba? Wala po Oo, kasi... Okay, ayan. Narandown natin. 